The rematch is on. Calgary Flames and St. Louis Blues. Right now the Blues have already won the last game as they already have uh, pushed their way through here across. This was able to be a, a toughest game here that was ever been played here before. Well, now the retake is on to try this one again after a game three with a win. It all turns out to be one of the bestest at the bestest of the game. So this could be another change up to give them a try to work their way around. Now, let's head you on down to Enterprise Center to start the presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Right now, St. Louis is still right now in the lead. It's 2-1 over after game two, then game three. Now, it's time for them to give them a shot. Guys, it's all yours. Take it from here. My crew. No shortage of storylines inside this Western Conference matchup tonight, and we are ready to give you all the details. I'm James, he's Ray, let's go. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the ball for this opening faceoff. The Blues take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Calgary's got the puck behind the net. Season scored by number 77, Nico Nicola. His first assist here by David Perron. Run. And by number 55, Sam Blackboy. Time of the goal, 2 minutes 30, 2 minutes 32 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I see on St. Louis. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. St. 
Calgary goal, his first goal of his season, scored by number 58, Eric Lindholm. Assisted by number 13, Taurus Pogan, and by number 22, Taurus Gold. 15 minutes, 39 seconds, 15.39 remaining in the first period of Stanley Cup playoffs.
Regent's gonna hang on for a whistle. Kachuk's one of the most creative players in the game, guys, and he's got the skill to bring his ideas to life. His it's tricky zone ability is when he's able to bust down highlight real plays to create chances, and he's really just a special player to watch. Takes it across the blue line. St. Louis on the attack. Here he is in front. Denies him. Markstrom's brilliance on display here. Great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. Calgary's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Good look. Not a good result, though. And they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Really good play to set up the chance, but nothing for it. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Quick feed to Kachuk. Makes the save. Gets in front of it. Can't finish. Oh, Ray, blown opportunity. It really is. I mean, the play is sitting right there. There's a scoring chance to be had. They just don't execute it. The Flames gain control of the puck. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And he comes up with it. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Late going for this period. We got a tie game. Backlund's won the draw. Puts it on net. Turned aside with the glove by Bennington. And a punch stopper jumps on top of him to get a stoppage in play. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Shen's won the faceoff. Nice pass. Cutting to the front of the net. Slides it over to Manjapani. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Manjapani. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. There's a hit on the play. Dishes it to Manjapani. Great defensive effort with the stick. Scooped up along the wall by Coleman. Oh, he couldn't put it past. What a stop by Bennington. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Calgary's won the draw by Barmore. Nowhere for that shot to go through. St. Louis moves it ahead. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. Krug's close to pulling off a great move there. Just denied in zone. Fantastic save! Handles the puck at the point. Oh, what a stop! St. Louis has possession of the puck. The Blues will play it in their own end. Tarasenko's got it on the offensive end. Sends the pass over. And that goes off a player. Puck scooped up by Crew. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Sends a pass over. Pushes it across to Bushnevich. Gains the zone through center. Bushnevich has got it against the board. Last minute of play in the first period. Calgary goal against first goal of the season score by number 19, Matthew Trachik. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 25 seconds in the center of this period of the Sandy Cup playoffs. There's the buzzer to 
20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Flames are in a lead, 2-1. We'll be right back after this. On now, it's the second period. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. O'Reilly's one possession. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Flames have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot and makes a save. Saz moving it ahead. Drills them. Calgary staying possession along the boards. Quick pass to Lindholm. Looks to set up at the point now. And that was stopped. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Flames are clinging to a 2-1 lead. The Blues win it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. The Blues take it across the blue line. Takes a shot. Pumped away by the goaltender. The Flames look to start the transition game. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a shot. Left save made by Bennington. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. O'Reilly's won it off the faceoff. Handles the puck. Slides it on over to Saad. Let's it fly. Oh, great blocker stop by Markstrom. Pass back to the point. Oh, what a play to give up the body on the block. Moves the puck. From center, they get into the attacking area. Let's it fly! Crabs him with the glove. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. In between those guys, could be a little bit of a hard matchup in the Western Conference going the on. Win the face -off. Score scores. Three straight goals here. They have really laid the boots to those guys in the last little bit. Calgary's now made their way back to center ice for the faceoff. I see a lot of movement, a lot of talking on the bench right now. What's the message, right? Coaches are going up and down the bench. Calgary goal. It is first goal of the season score by number 33, Ramos Anderson. And by number, and assisted by number 18, Paul Vick Grubin. Time of the goal. 4 433 remaining in a second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Coleman's taking it from his own end. Calgary's on the attack. What a save by Bennington. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a chance. Turned aside with a glove by Bennington. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession is so key in today's game. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Saad's got it into offensive territory. Oh, comes up with a stop. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Shoots it. Oh. Scores! Matthew Kachuk! The Flames have now extended the lead yet again, and they show no signs of letting up here. No, now they're having some fun here. This is like a score. Calgary goal, the second goal of the season, score by number 28. Screw shot. This is by number two. Uh, uh, and that shot dies in traffic. And by number. Reporting free. 
Oh, uh, box drop. Johannes box drop. Time of the goal, 5.33 remaining in the second period. And the Stanley Cup playoffs. Calgary goal of his first goal of the season, score by number 20, Blake Coleman. Time of the goal, 8.54 remaining in a second period. And the Stanley Cup playoffs. Assisted by number 20, Brandon Saad. Number 57, Presby. Time of the goal. 14, 30 seconds in, in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Don't need a shot off the goal, but what they need here, James, is a field 
angle to get back in this contest. Feeds it on over to Kachuk. And now he tries to get it across to Goudreau. Takes it down. Off target. So frustrating. You do all this work, you get it into a good spot, you don't get it on the net. Nice solid entry from the right side. Moves it to Kachuk. Turns it away on the slap shot. St. Louis takes possession of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Stops him with the glove. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Calgary's won the face off deep in their own end. Coleman's moving the puck through his own zone. Quick pass to Mangiapane. Calgary started across the line. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves right to the middle. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Quick feed to Mangiapane. Huge stop by Bennington. Takes the feed. Gains the zone from the right. Hard on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped... He also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Puts it towards the net. And there's another stop. I love the way that he's in position. And he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And now it's grabbed by Backlund. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Scoops up the puck now. The Flames play it along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Lucic. Puck grabbed by Backlund. The Flames have it in the offensive zone. Oh, and that's got the crowd busting after that stop. Watches the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. The Flames scoop it up along the boards. Puck scooped up by Crew. Into the offensive zone. Here he is in close. Oh, he gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. O'Reilly's plate is getting a little fuller by the moment here. As the captain of this team, he's got to be the one to rally them. He's got to be the one to show them a way out of this mess they're in. Stop by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. In the final moments of this period, Calgary's got a 5-2 lead. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. O'Reilly's winning just about every draw. Made the stop on that play. He's working hard to find his puck. There's all kinds of traffic in front of him, and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Here's a short pass to Saad. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. From the back of the cage with the puck. Oh, there's one more. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck and he's in position again. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. The Blues win it. Blocked in traffic. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Calgary's got it along the wall. And makes the save. Bennington's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Moves it quickly over to Perron. Sends it in on the attack. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Rocks him. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Tanev. Moves the puck across to Goudreau. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Too much traffic in the lane. Saad's got the puck along the wing. One minute remaining, last minute remaining in the second period.
have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. Lindholm's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Takes a hit on the play. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. And that banks off a stick. Barbashev's got it behind the net. Centering pass. He scores! They've given themselves a little bit of a chance here, James, just to open the door. Lose goal! It's first goal of the season, score by number 10, Van Kroon. Assisted by Ivan. And by number 10, Lindjavit. Time to go, 19, 35 remaining. And as second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We'll get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Third period is next, 5-3, getting close, but we'll see what happens if someone takes the lead. Here we go, folks, third period is on. Let's see who wins the fourth game of the playoffs. the puck. They've turned it over so often. There's no choice for them but to chase the game. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Blues are still trailing by two. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And it's a quick pass to Perron. Along the half wall with the puck. Calgary goal is first goal of the season, score by number 15, Carl Hadafin. It's for sister by number 11, Eric, Eric Peltstrom. And by number 25, Justice Markstrom. Time at a goal, 4 minutes, 4 free, 3 seconds in the third period of a Stanley Cup playoffs. The draw, the linesman about to drop the puck. 
goal. His second goal of the season, scored by number 20, Jordan Goal. Assisted by number 45, Michael Beasley. Time to go. 11, 11 minutes, 45 seconds in third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Bitch. Two minutes for holding. Slashing. Slashing, sorry. The Flames send out their man advantage unit at a most critical time of the game. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power plays first chance. Two minutes for slashing for, for St. Louis. A Paul Gudrich. Power play for Calgary Flames. St. Louis plays it up ahead. The Flames gain control of the puck. Through center. And now he angles it across to Toffoli. Handles it along the blue line. Great plus save. That's an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. Lindholm's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Flames win the draw. Moves it to Anderson. And that's blocked. The Blues gain possession along the wall. St. Louis is on the attack. Let's it fly. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Blocked in traffic. During the final 60 seconds of this one. One minute remaining in the play in the third period.
Round of Calgary goal. His first goal of the season scored by number 13, Sean Monahan. Four and by number 23, five, four. Time of the goal, 1943 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Disappointing effort for Blues, couldn't save him. Because of that happened, the Flames have it in control. They still tied the series up. No win for the Blues. It was disappointing effort. 7-4 is your final score in Game 4. Calgary will be back in Game 5. Three star players to game time. Number 3, we have is Matthew Katchuk. Two goals and two hits. Just a better shot out there. Nice one. That's all you have to count on. Number two is Jordan Cairo. Two goals and one hit. Now he has uh, after a hit. And then he decided to take a shot. And number one. This all goes to Lindholm. One goal and four assists. Just like he did here before. So that ends the Western Conference right now. Stay tuned for the next two games. Eastern and Western Conference, it will be the next one to keep an eyes on. We have is the Hurricanes and the Bruins, then the Western Conference is the Wilds and the Predators. We have a lot of strength carried out here, and there might be something going on that we may not see it coming. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone, for as well as the Stanley Cup playoff of the NHL 22 dial. Good night in St. Louis.